also following breaking news this morning of a deadly rollover crash in Salt Lake City. Police say up to nine construction workers were injured in this crash on their way to work and one of them died. This happened on Wright Brothers Drive and Amelia Earhart Drive just west of the Salt Lake Airport. That's where we find ABC4's Jared Giottinetti. They're live with an update. So Jared, what do we know? Brian, very preliminary information this hour, but about four hours after that crash and police are still working to reopen this portion of the road. The two cars involved still on scene. Take a look behind me. That's the white van carrying those nine or 11 construction workers. It rolled several times and then that silver Chevy there that's on top of a tow truck. That's the other car that's involved. You can see debris from this crash thrown throughout the street. Now this call came in around 615 this morning. Police say this van was was carrying 11 construction workers. As you mentioned, one man died and another up to nine other construction workers, police say, were taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. There was another car involved, this silver Chevy. Police say there was one driver inside. He was not injured and was last seen getting a field sobriety test from police, which police say is routine after a deadly crash. Police say no word on who is at fault here. We know that these things happen. We just caution drivers to, to pay attention, even especially in the early morning hours. Um, you know, we're, we're all waking up and getting going and, and maybe uh, just, just pay a little bit more attention. And back out here live construction, uh, the construction workers again are recovering in the hospital. Police are still trying to reopen this road. The construction workers were in an EWS construction van. We reached out to the South Salt Lake company, but they declined comment. Again, the cause still under investigation. The names of anyone involved have not been released. Just a sad and tragic morning. We expect an update from Salt Lake City Police sometime this afternoon. Reporting live, Jared Jatsunini, ABC4 News.